Print fan. It has been a crazy morning dealing with all of the flood and kitchen. We're doing a few prints right now. Not many. It's a hundred business cards, so it's only five pages. We already did the test print and cut. Everything looked great. So now we are going to get the rest of them cut. Um, then we've got to do some letterhead and some envelopes. We are going to do the envelopes last because I got to wait for the printer to cool down to swap the fuser. And that's really the only other printing that I have to do today besides the business cards. So business cards, letterhead, envelope. We are going to be, it already freaked out for some reason. Um, we're going to be doing the letterhead on 60 pound text, just plain paper and I think that's about it. So, it jammed, but I don't know why. So we'll get it figured out, get these cut, printed, all of the day. The letterhead test was a success. So we're doing 250 of those. We're doing them 12 by 18, two up, 125 copies. So we're gonna get the GoPro, set up a time lapse. And then we have to wait for the printer to cool down. So we'll probably run to the post office, do a few other things, and then we'll get back at it. So I've got the cutter running in the other room and sometimes I hear it, sometimes I don't, sometimes the doors close. So I just thought I'd show you how I monitor it remotely. So because I bought, oh, whoa, I can't say. Because I bought the pro model of the DC616, as you can see there, it came with the PC software. You can buy the PC software after the fact, but mine came with it. And I've got a little computer hooked up to it and I have TeamViewer on the computer. With TeamViewer, I can remote in from my main PC. So as you can see, I've got a 55 inch, so it takes up very little space. Usually I have my email and Illustrator and whatnot open, and I can just throw this, if I can find my mouse, throw this up in the top corner. And because it's up there, I can see the page count. And I'll bring it back down so you can see. So every time a page goes through the printer, or not the printer, the cutter, this number goes up one, obviously. Or, before you program it, you can say, run 12, and it will run only 12, and then stop. So I'll do that on business cards, because the stack can only hold so much. For these larger trade objects, then I just let it run until it's done. But this has 125 sheets that it'll be cutting. I think I did five or six sheets beforehand, so it'll be 130, 131 when it's done. And it makes it really simple to see where the, the cutter's at. I do the same thing with the fire in action. If you have the command workstation open, we'll pop it up here. Then it tells me in this menu if it's idle, if it's printing, if it is printing, how many pages. So, yeah, good times. Look who decided to come out and play. Bach is back. Back again. Just kidding. Yeah, it's a good thing he said just kidding, because he risked a really big opportunity to say, guess who's Bach? Bach again. Bach is Bach. Tell a friend. Bach's running. We got one of the shirts done. The last one is running. There's only two. 
I just swapped the envelope fuser in the other room. Now we're going to print 250 envelopes. Let's see how it goes. All right, I'm gonna work while I talk. Um, finally home from running around. I bought a thermal label printer because I've been getting a lot more packages and my wife has an eBay business and she has a lot of packages. And it was supposed to be here Wednesday, but it was not. So I had to go while the post office was open. They did find it and they got it to me. I dropped off some packages and I delivered some stickers for some thank you box and some hand sanitizers. And then I stopped by the cabinet shop to talk about our kitchen. My wife is currently gone at six o'clock because she can't stand the hum of the fans. Hopefully it'll be dry tomorrow though I think it will. The only thing that's still wet is the drywall behind the cabinets. The insurance company has approved us ripping out all of the lower cabinets. The bid to replace the lower cabinets is $12,000 and then another $5,000 to do the countertops because they said they're not going to be salvageable. So that's probably what I get to do over the next couple of weekends is I've got to finish ripping out our floor because they ripped out our kitchen and that's continuous into our living room and our entryway as well as our mudroom, half bath, and laundry room. So I'm going to pull that all out because then I can make the money that I can put towards the rest of the project. So I've got to rip that out, we've got to get all the kitchen cabinets ripped out, all of the countertops ripped out, we've got to empty the cabinets before we can rip them out. and. That's a whole mess of things. So I'm gonna finish up a few more things here and I'm gonna go help my neighbor with the project. Um, don't have any more printing. Got all the printing done for today. So I'm really happy with the work that I was able to do. It was good to get Bach run because he hasn't been run in a long time. I definitely like running flats more than I like running hats. So that's probably what I should figure out. I need a better hooping system, but I kind of need more space. Um, so we'll see kind of how things play out. I really, really, really badly want to build a building in my backyard. Really. If, if you were to build a building, how big would you build it? I, I've been leaning towards 24 feet wide, which... So 24 feet, so about seven and a half meters by 36 feet, which is about 11 meters. That's what I've been thinking. I talked to my brother today and now I'm thinking maybe 30 feet wide instead of 24, so another six feet. So about nine meters by 40 feet, which is about 12 meters. How big of a building would you build? Let me know in the comments. I have the room. My lot itself is a hundred and, I think it's 150. So 45 meters. No, it's 175. It's 175 feet, so 53 meters by 115 feet wide, so 35 meters. So 115 feet wide, 175 deep, 
because I have from the back of my house there's a hundred feet so I have a hundred feet to play with from the back of my house to the back of my lot so that building would fit just fine and we'd still have a huge backyard what would you build anyway I'm probably gonna call it a night for you guys I did not meet my goal but I'm happy I'm healthy, my family's healthy, so that's what's matter. That's what matters. Not to say I'm not nervous about money, because I am, but it will be all right. If you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., you know what to do. Thank you, Cam, for any of the videos. Appreciate you. If you guys want to support the channel, the easiest way to do so is with the Amazon affiliate links. But you can buy business cards, you can buy stickers. Use the other affiliate links down in the description. But thank you, as always, just for being here. Just for watching. If you made it to the end, let me know. I'm curious at how many of you actually watched the whole thing. Some of you might never watch the whole thing. But if you make it, let me know. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed so you can follow along. There might be a special edition tomorrow with ripping out flooring and stuff. But probably not. So we'll see you Monday.